that remain in the Bono region where pupils and teachers of the Kofibor Krom DA Primary School in the Doma East District are sheltered in makeshift structures. Furniture is also in short supply. Kofibua Krum and three other adjoining communities are some few hinterland communities with increased population. The community is fortunate to have been provided with a school and has increased enrollment due to the availability of the school feeding program. Makeshift structures accommodate a chunk of the classes. This was after the building accommodating them collapsed. The Doma East District Assembly intervened to put up a three-unit classroom block to partly reduce the pressure on the school, but the project stalled after being moved. Teachers were then compelled to use a facility owing to inadequate space. Appeals to the Assembly to complete the project are yet to yield results. The revenue that the district receives is such that there's no way we can complete everything overnight. The, uh, what we're trying to do is to try to increase the rate at which uh, we put up these structures. So there is one particular area of our budget that we pay so much attention to, and that is the self-help budget line. Furniture is another worry. Pupils provide their own chairs and tables to aid academic work. Those who cannot afford a table improvise. District Chief Executive for Doma is Emmanuel Ajuman admitted the issue of furniture is a widespread challenge in the district, but the Assembly is positioning itself to intervene. Furniture is quite um, challenging. Do uh, government recently brought us some desk, but uh, it was way, way, way below uh, the, the quantity that we needed. Assembly is making that effort, um, but um, the budget line is not so huge. Um, what we have been doing is trying to do so much with something little. That is the effort we've been making. Our idea is that if we are able to get timber free of charge, then with the same amount of money, we should be able to do more of the furniture rather than giving it on contract and the person will have to go and buy wood and buy almost everything before he does it. Education in the area would require stakeholders' commitment to improve. And as that's for mission, mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.